Hi, my name is Anthony from Gordon Multimedia, and this is part three of our WordPress 101 series uh, about posts and how to edit and add posts to your site. A post is a small entry, uh, similar to how the pages were set up. Uh, it has a title and content, um, but you think of them kind of like blog posts, just a little bit of content that we can use um, on your site, and depending on how your template is set up, there's different ways it will be presented. Um, this is the main way that we uh, optimize your site um, with SEO strategies. On this test template, there is a home page, and this home page aggregates all the blog posts and lists them in order of date. So, as you can see here, we already have one post, which is called Hello World, and if you click on the title, it will bring you to the single uh, post. So this is the individual post. This page is only the post content. As you can see here, there's a title, content, and there's even other options like adding comments and things like that. So here on a single post, you can see at the top it says edit post. This is a way you can get to that editor window, similar with pages. Um, you can't get to this edit post, you can't get this edit post button or get uh, to that editor page from this first home page because this is going to have a bunch of different posts in, in uh, order of date or there's even ways to do it in alphabetical order or however your site is set up. Um, so you can't necessarily edit a post from here, but if you click on the title, usually is what we link it to, uh, you can go to the single post. And from here you can click edit post, and it'll bring you to that editor window. This editor window is almost identical to the page. Uh, it's going to have a lot of same features. You have the title, and you have the content ed uh, editor. We can enter your content and, and change it up. We can add a little content to it. And the same thing as before, just make sure you hit update. And now if you click view post, it'll bring you back to that single individual post. And if you click home, which is our list view of posts, uh, you see that our, our changes have also been made. What we're going to do is add a new post. So we're going to go to our back end dashboard. And from here, you can click posts and click add new. Just like how we, if you wanted to also, you can click from this individual post which will bring you to this page here, and click Add New here. So there's a couple different ways to add new, and there's even an Add New button here. So they're all over the place um, to create a new post. Uh, we're here in this Add New Post window, and as you can see, there is a, a spot for a title and content. Title is really important for SEO reasons, and if you added an SEO research package to your website, we'll create a spreadsheet with the key terms that will help uh, boost your site in Google search results. So this is where we leverage that right here. Um, but for now, I'm just going to put in any old title. And then some content. I'm just going to copy that over from here. This is just dummy text that we sometimes use uh, just to show you how the site will format it. And there's our dummy text. And we're going to click Publish. So we're going to quickly just hit view post here and jump to the front end and we see this is our post. This is the single view of the post. Now if we click home, we'll see it in the list view. Now many times in sites we actually limit the list view uh, of the content. This is to make the pages a little bit shorter, a little bit easier to read. Um, so we'll use an excerpt which we just probably will use just you know the beginning uh, portion of the text um, and there'll be a read more button that'll bring you to this single page that has all the content. Uh, we recommend when you make posts especially for blog features and things like that uh, that you at least put a hundred characters, a hundred words, not hundred characters, hundred words um, in your post for uh, SEO reasons. Alright so um, Posts have a little bit more information attached to them than just pages. There's also some uh, categorization tools that we could add. Um, and of course, this varies from site to site depending on your needs. Um, but it helps you organize these posts. Since they're in list views and things like that, we want to make it nice and easy for people to find them uh, and nice and easy for uh, Google to find them as well. So as you can see here, there is already a category section for posts. Um, but we can add a new one. So let's say this post is in the category of 
about our company. So we uncheck that one and we'll say this post relates to the category of about our company, which is posts about you know our history, what we plan to do, things like that. Uh, and this will already be set up for you when, when your site is launched. And this is part of the things we go over with you when uh, we design your site and design your theme and how we want uh, posts to work for you uh, and your site. So we just update that and we have that saved to view post. As you can see about our com companies right here and then if you click this it'll show you a list view of all the posts about our company. Right now we only have one but um, it's just one of those categorization tools that we can use to help sort the content on your site because no one wants to just enter content that no one will see. Uh, so we want to try to leverage any sort of effort you put in your site adding content you want to use that and leverage that to the fullest degree. So uh, post is just a great way to do that. Um, there's another type of post called custom post types we will get into a little bit later. You can see it right here. Um, but for now we were just working with posts. Um, another quick thing that you can do to post is add a featured image. Uh, adding a featured image is as simple as when you're here in this editor window going down to the bottom here and you see featured image and sometimes these settings can be closed up so if you ever see just the title here there is a little triangle that indicates that it's a drop down you click that and it'll give you the options. Um, so we can click set featured image and this brings up our media library, which we will discuss in a later video. Uh, but we can upload a file uh, of any old thing; it doesn't really matter. We'll use this wonderful wallpaper, and we'll set the featured image. Now, the featured image is an image that kind of represents the post. Uh, depending on how your theme is set up, uh, there'll be a little thumbnail of the of the featured image. Um, and you'll see you know, a little thumbnail and the title or something like that. Um, but it's really just an image that represents the post and is attached to the post. And depending on the formatting, it uh, can be displayed in, in several different ways. All right. And as you can see, with this theme, any featured image is put in the header. So this header image is the attached image. If we go back to home, you see the image changes. So it kind of changes the the view or the theme of this page so that there's an image that really corresponds to what you're talking about. And that's just part of the thing that allows you to have a lot more control of your site and not having to call a web designer every time you want to make a change, be it content or graphical.